My name is Chris Walker. I'm Director of Product Planning for Pioneer Electronics. And here at CA Line Show this week, we're introducing our three flagship Elite AV receivers. Here we have the SC79 Elite AVR. It's a nine channel AVR featuring our Class D3 amplifiers. Uh, this year, some of the new uh, changes we made from last year's model. The first is that we've incorporated our, uh, the new ESS Sabre 32 audio DACs, which is considered to be the best DAC in the industry. Uh, but really exciting here is we've actually boosted the multi-zone performance. So this new Elite receiver actually allows you to power up to four individual zones who have the house, and we've simplified the process by updating our iControl app to allow very easy control over this. So I basically got a 5.1 based system here in the living room, plus empowering a zone two uh, channel over the speaker level outputs, and I'm enjoying Pandora in another room. I can simply choose a source I want to listen to in the other zone, choose the Pandora station I want to listen to, and actually start using the app. The nice part is, is everybody in the house can have the app running on their own device. So if you're in another room, you launch the app and you're controlling what's happening in that room. If you're in the living room, you have your own app and you can have four apps running at the same time. If I go to my zone three here, I can listen to the FM tuner and choose what I want to listen to as well. Now something new this year, especially on the SC79, is I have my HD zone output. Traditionally on our entry level models, our lower price models, we have an HDMI output for that zone. What's new about the SC79 this year is it's the world's first receiver to utilize HD base T as the zone output. So HD base T uh, shows itself on the receiver as an ethernet output, but that ethernet jack allows me to run a high definition, high definition HDMI signal up to 100 meters in length and actually, and I'll show it to you on the model over here, it allows me to push this high definition HDMI source all the way uh, across the house by using a simple ethernet jack. So once I have this connected, I now have the ability to choose whatever a source I want to that's available in the living room to play any else, anywhere else in the house. If we come over here, in the extra zone room, we'll have an HD base T receiver that'll convert the ethernet jack back into an HDMI source. I've got a Roku stick here, and from here I can actually use the Roku remote to control what's happening in the other zone. But it completely simplified the, the process of running a very long HDMI cable with amplifiers and the cost of sort of that by building the HD base T, the spec that all the CI guys use, into the actual AV receiver.